Hey guys, I just wanted to give you a little update. Um, we haven't really had bunnies, baby bunnies in a while or um, any videos because we wound up getting hit by um, this bunny, bunny virus that was going around. And what the state does is if your bunny winds up testing positive, then they come out and euthanize all your bunnies. So that was fun to deal with um, during the pandemic. And so, during that time, um, we couldn't have bunnies for 90 days, um, and then I had to make arrangements <clears throat> to get um, new bunnies. And so, um, this is Willa, and she's a Holland Lop. Um, and then we have Liz Taylor, or Winter. <laughs> she's kind of being silly right now. She's it just jumped out of the litter pan. So this is winter and so um, we probably won't have them in an outdoor colony during the summertime it's just much too hot here in Arizona um, so we will probably just um, keep them indoors we have some really nice hutches for them now and then we can still let them um, come out and exercise we have a um, little dog um, I don't know, not kennel, like like little fences for when you're training them and stuff. So this is springtime. We're just getting into spring. There she is. Hi, babies. So we're just getting into spring. So everything is starting to come out of dormancy, like all the plants um, near the enclosure. So all these bushes will get super, super high this year. Um, I mean, you can see this one's pretty high already. So they'll basically fill in this entire section and it will just be nice and green and beautiful and hopefully keep the area a lot cooler. Um, sometimes we do put umbrellas out for our bunnies, but to be honest, they deteriorate here super quickly in like a year. I just got this one a year ago and you can see like it's just shredding apart. But we do have these beautiful trees right here that will fill in eventually and they're very, very big trees. So they will provide a lot of shade for the bunnies as well as this tree over here. And I would say that um, this enclosure gets a lot hotter. Um, it gets a lot hotter than the other one just because it's like right in full sun. And I haven't put pavers down in it and I haven't put the proper um, fencing inside as well to, um, so that the bunnies can't get out. Um, so I have that to do, but we won't really have baby bunnies out here for a while. So it's not like a huge deal. And I did move around some plants and things in the past, what, six months. So I'm not sure if I'll let the bunnies like really hang out in here unless I'm around. Just because um, of hawks and cats. Like we've had issues with cats here and and hawks and that's why we got the two enclosures and then the middle sections kind of we still need to like fence in this area right here because um, this door like it doesn't actually like go to anything and so there's this big gap and they can get out but eventually I do want to like have this area where I can let them out um, during the day and it won't be a huge deal um, for hawks or owls or anything because eventually all these trees will kind of shade the area and they won't really hopefully hang out over here I mean I could be wrong and then over here we'll have to put a fence too because we wound up removing some of the fence that was right here so we'll have to put something right here so that they can't go through So yeah, in Holland, lops are a different breed than we had before, so they're a lot more um, heat sensitive or weather sensitive, and so we just decided like it would be best to have them inside. At first, I thought we couldn't because um, I thought we were allergic, but then I guess we aren't. <laughs> so um, we've been doing fine, so maybe it's just because they're not in the dust like they used to be. So it is a gorgeous day out right now nice and cloudy 
yeah, I'm hoping to make more videos soon. Um, the girls are about four months, I believe. We got them on Christmas, and so um, hopefully they'll be ready to breed in just a couple of months. Because we sure do miss having baby bunnies, and it's been like almost a whole year. So, um, yeah. Oh, and then Midnight is our buck, and he's not out here. I'm just kind of, he'll probably just like hump and pee all over them. So, I really, um, I do separate them so that we don't have those issues. But they did, they did meet, and they do get along really well. So, um, hopefully we will get babies from all these baby bunnies. All right. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. Um, I can answer them to my best ability. So, and you have a great day. Bye.